to present the Oscar for Makeup, the legally bound Reese Witherspoon and Ryan Philippi. Buck Henry, who wrote the Oscar-nominated screenplay for The Graduate, had the following observation about makeup. The philosopher said, beauty is only skin deep. Beauty, in fact, like ugliness, is generally applied at least two to three inches deep at a very early hour in the morning by masters of their trade called makeup artists, who combine the techniques and styles of old, fine Renaissance painters with the dexterity and enthusiasm of rich, young Beverly Hills plastic surgeons. Without submitting to this daily ordeal, actors and actresses would look just like people in documentaries. <laughs> the brutal truth is that in order to accommodate all of this paint, plaster, fur, gel, and glue, the actors must have in real life a very small head. <laughs> about the size of a coconut. That's why you never recognize them at the five and dime. The miracle workers nominated for best achievement in makeup are Greg Canham and Colleen Callahan for A Beautiful Mind. Peter Owen and Richard Taylor for The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Maurizio Silvi and Aldo Signoretti for Moulin Rouge. And the Oscar goes to... Let me read it. Can I read it? <laughs> you make more than I do. Go ahead. Oh, oh. Peter Owen and Richard Taylor for The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. These are the first Academy Awards for Peter Owen and Richard Tyler. Taylor, their efforts transformed John Reese Davies into Gimli the Dwarf and required six hours of makeup starting every morning at 4 a.m. We have been on the most amazing journey together, due in part to the vision of Peter Jackson, the camaraderie of Barry Osborne, the incredible support of Mark Odesky, the faces and bodies of the actors who, who went through hours of makeup. My journey has been made whole by the, the love of my partner, Tanya Roger, and the wonderful genius of the small group of young New Zealanders that have gathered around us to make this so possible. Thank you, everyone, for helping us support this cause tonight. It's a lovely day. So. I just want to say I don't know why anyone gave me the job in the first place. I'm still recovering from that. I got an, an opportunity to go to the most beautiful country on earth, in my opinion, work with a genuine fellowship of people, and torture a lot of actors. <laughs> thank, I, I can't thank the Academy enough for this. It's, it's delirium. Thank you. I'd like to take a moment to remember the actors, actresses, producers, and directors who are no longer with us, who have gone up there. You know, the ones filming in Canada. Hi, Anita, get well soon. We have five wonderful movies nominated for Best Picture, and they all have one thing in common. I wasn't in any of them. <laughs> but that alone didn't get them nominated. Our first nominated film is In the Bedroom, a movie that was shot on such a low budget, it was originally called In the Double Wide. <laughs> now, In the Bedroom, <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. <laughs> In the Bedroom is about a college-age young man who has an affair with a single mom, causing a huge fight with her ex-husband. It's huge. Sissy Spacek gets mad. Marissa Tomei gets slapped. I'm telling you, it's deep, baby. It's better than Jerry Springer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, In the Bedroom. 